Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. When we're going to design this kind of soft seat ball valve, the soft seat are very important for this ball valve because the valve seat we're going to cooperate with the ball to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. And also because this ball valve is soft seat ball valve, so the seat made by soft material like a PTFV or RTFV. So this kind of component are very easily to be break. So engineer really need to design a correct valve seat and a suitable valve seat for this kind of ball valve. Some manufacturers were going to design the soft seat ball valve valve seat look like this. Here is the soft seat blueprint. In this kind of design, we need to concern about the outside diameter, the inside diameter, and the valve seat thickness, and the very big chamfer. This chamfer area we are going to cooperate with the ball to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. So this area we are going to touch the ball to seal the pressure. So this is one kind of valve seat design in soft seat ball valve industry. But some manufacturers will design different valve seat. The shape are a little bit different. It will look like this. It was going to add two outside diameter grooves on the outside diameter of the valve seat. So in this video, we are going to talk about what is this kind of soft valve seat disadvantages? What is the weakness for this kind of design? And we are going to talk about why we need to add outside diameter grooves on the outside diameter from the soft seat ball valve valve seat. And what is the advantages for this kind of valve seat? First, let's look at uh, what does the new design soft seat ball valve valve seat look like. Here is the new design valve seat. Now, most soft seat ball valve manufacturers are going to use this kind of design to make the valve seat. The big difference between the new design and the old design, which is it are going to add several outside diameter grooves on the valve seat outside diameter. We can see this valve seat, it contained one, two, three, four, four outside diameter grooves on the valve seat outside diameter. So now the most manufacturers were going to use this kind of design to make the valve seat. It contained several outside diameter grooves on the valve seat outside diameter. To understand what is the outside diameter grooves function, First, we need to understand if the valve seat without those several outside diameter grooves, if we use that kind of valve seat on the soft seat ball valve, what will happen if we operate that kind of ball valve in flow control system? What will happen for the valve seat? This illustration is going to explain for us if we use the old design valve seat the valve seat without the outside diameter grooves. What will happen we operate this ball valve in the flow control system? Here is the ball valve ball. This is the ball valve seat. Ball valve seat cooperate with the ball to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. The valve seats are located in the valve body. This side is the upstream side, this side is downstream side. So when we're going to close the ball valve, the pressure we are going to push the ball and the valve seat from this side because this is upstream side. So when we are going to close the ball valve, the pressure is going to push the ball and the valve seat, we will have two kinds of possibility. One is when the pressure is going to push the ball and the valve seat, the ball and the seat left with each other. So the pressure we are going to flow between the gap from the ball and the seat to the cavity and flow to the downstream. The downstream side of our seat will going to seal the pressure. That is one kind of possibility. And we have another kind of possibility, which is when the pressure push the ball and the valve seat from the upstream, the ball and the seat didn't left each other. So the pressure will going to flow to the back of the valve seat to push the valve seat. So if this kind of possibility happened, because the valve seat 
backside area are bigger than the front area. So when the pressure is going to push the valve seat from the back, it is impossible the pressure can find a one way to flow to the cavity. Because the backside area are bigger than the small area, when the pressure is going to push it, the valve seat will sue the pressure with the ball and also with the valve body. So what will happen if this kind of possibility have possibility happened? If we close the ball for one week or one month, the pressure will continue to push the valve seat for one week or one month. The problem is the soft seat ball valve, valve seat is made by soft material. So if the pressure continue to push the valve seat for a very long time, it will make the valve seat has permanent deformation. So it will change the valve seat shape. So when you're going to open the valve again after one week or one month, you will find the ball torque are much bigger than before. The ball valve torque are much bigger than before because the valve seat, the upstream valve seat, it has permanent deformation. So that will become a very big problem for soft seat ball valve. And also the valve may be leak if the pressure push the ball from another side. If this side becomes the upstream, this side becomes the downstream. Because the downstream side valve seat already has permanent deformation. So that is the reason why we design one kind of valve seat. It has outside diameter grooves. So let's see what will happen if the valve seat it has outside diameter grooves when we're going to operate this kind of soft seat ball valve in the flow control system. This illustration is going to explain for us if we use the new design soft seat ball valve valve seat when we're going to add the outside diameter grooves on the valve seat outside diameter. When we're going to use this kind of valve seat in the soft seat ball valve, when we're going to operate this ball valve in the flow control system, what will happen for this kind of valve seat? The situation is the same. Here is the upstream. This is downstream. The pressure we're going to push the ball and the valve seat from this side. It has two kinds of possibility. First is the pressure push the ball and the valve seat left each other, so the pressure will flow from the gap between the ball and the seat to the cavity and flow to the downstream. Downstream valve seat going to seal the pressure. That is one kind of possibility. And another is the pressure didn't push the ball and the valve seat left with each other. So the pressure was going to flow to the backside of the valve seat. If the valve seat it has no outside diameter grooves, the pressure will continuously push the valve seat. The pressure will push the valve seat flow to the gap between the ball and the valve body. This kind of force will make the valve seat has permanent deformation. That will break the valve seat. So engineer designed one kind of grooves on the valve seat outside diameter. So the pressure, if the pressure flow to the back of the valve seat, the pressure can continue to flow from the grooves to the cavity. So the cavity will have pressure. So the cavity pressure will push the valve seat back. So the valve seat will have equal pressure. So the valve seat will not get permanent deformation. So the valve seat will have long lifetime. So this is the reason why we design the outside diameter grooves on the soft seat ball valve valve seat outside diameter. So that is the difference between two kinds of soft seat ball valve valve seat. The big difference is this kind of design, it has outside diameter grooves. So this kind of valve seat will have long lifetime. So if you're going to check does one kind of soft seat ball valve, it has good quality. You can check does the soft seat ball valve valve seat, it has outside diameter grooves design. Because this kind of design are much better than this kind of design. So thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.